Shut up, my praises be unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rechak with Dash. That me are double honors unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone who were well, and he taught us his truth. And salutes unto the Arkham who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Right, and um, this is uh, the Torah app. Um, you know, I've got the Blue Letter Bible app, I've got another Bible app with the Apocrypha, and I've got the Torah app. Well, it's really the Tanakh, you know, it's got everything in there, you know, and um, pretty much, um, you know, it's got the Syrian script Hebrew, and it also give, gives commentary on uh, Jewish schools of thought, okay, and, um, you know, the whole thing of, you know, the IUIC and the Sabbath, you know, is the, they're trying to say the full moon, the Sabbath, and, you know, the Friday, Saturday gig and all of that but what they don't understand is as many brothers have said recently is that um that is pretty much following the small hats man you know and and they worship um saturn you know they would go back to satan man okay you know the reason why they keep the friday to saturday gig you know it's not even a calendar um thing it's direct worship of of Saturn, okay. That's where they wear. We call them the small hats. They wear the yarmulkes on their heads. All right, you know. And um, there's many things within a, a so-called Jewish synagogue set up. The books they get into, you know, their scholars and everything, right? So the Friday to Saturday gig, where it concerned. Oh yeah, it just makes sense. No, it doesn't make no sense. Number one and number two. Admit it or not, you're really succumbing to the gig of the small hats, which is the gig of Satan. Okay? It's the gig of Satan, man. You know? And um, if you're going to go by, you know, um, their, the way they do things, you know, just, just, just come out and admit it then. You know, you, you're one and the same as the small hats, man. You know? And as I said, they they claim to believe in the Torah, but when you check a lot of their um their uh, beliefs in quote unquote Judaism, it's very satanic. You know the Talmud, you know the Mishnah, you know various schools of thoughts from their rabbis and their scholars. None of it really focuses on what the Torah actually says, but at face value, they'll hold the Torah, they'll kiss the Torah, they'll read it. You know, they'll tell you the Sabbath is Friday to Saturday, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But they won't tell you the deep mysticisms of Satanism that's actually involved in their schools of thought. So you following on, oh, yeah, it's Friday to Saturday. You don't understand how deep it goes. Now, when you read Genesis, the first chapter, it's not a calendar setup. OK, it's not a calendar setup. All right. It lets us know what went on, but it's not the setup of the calendar. Okay, now just one example, right? If you take um, Genesis 1 here, and I'm at this verse, and it says, um, God called, I'm reading as it says, God called the light day and called the darkness night, and there was, e and there was evening and there was morning, a first day. Okay, now you've got various um uh commentaries here you know 160 commentaries five from the Tar targum the mishnah has three the talmud has 15 the midrash has 60 the halqa has 10 the kabbalah has 18 the liturgy two jewish thought 18 chasidut 80 masur 17 responsa one you know, there's all kind of resources here that expound upon their understanding of every single verse. So you can go along with the Friday to Saturday gig. You're, you're not understanding that. The reason why they teach and do certain things and you follow after them is because all these demonic thought processes have been implemented into that one sentence or that one belief system which you think is so surface level. It's not. Okay. All right.
right? It says the first day, and this is what Rashi says. Now, Rashi is one of um, Judaism's most influential commentators. And it says the first day, literally one day, according to the regular mode of expression used in this chapter, it should be written here first day, just as it is written with regard to the other days, the second, the third, the fourth. Why then does it write one? Or it should be achad. Because the Holy One, blessed be He, was then the only one, in quote, so being, in His universe, which is completely wrong. Since the angels were not created until the second day, what? Thus it is explained in Genesis, Rabbah, Genesis, Rabbah 3, verse 8. What? Now, let me... Uh, come out of this real quick and let's go to Genesis chapter 3 because that app you know is kind of technical to work Genesis 3 and 8 today reference Genesis 3 and 8 it says here um, and they heard the voice of the Lord Pa walking in the garden in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord power amongst the trees of the garden. Well, that has nothing to do with angels. <laughs> okay. That has nothing to do with angels. But you'll still keep the same gig of, oh, well, it's Friday to Saturday. Because in the order of creation, it was, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, repeat was not in existence then, man. Okay, you're following a Gregorian calendar, which came by was it Pope Gregory the Eighth? Okay, you know, following on from the Julian. That has nothing to do with creation. That has nothing. It does, those calendars don't add up. And again, to reiterate, Genesis one is not a calendar formulation. Okay, it's not the beginning. It is it, not showing us the calendar. Okay, we can show you in the law where the calendar was was um was given we were given the calendar in the wilderness all right um uh at mount sinai okay you know this shall be to you the first of months that that's 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 when we um got uh our calendar man you know right <clears throat> So it says here, um, and they heard the voice of the Lord Power walking in the garden in the cool of the day. That's not the Mosai coming down and walking on the earth. Neither is the angels coming down and walking in the earth. What that really is, is the prophets. Okay? Yes, Adam had prophets. Alright? Who, who, who represented the voice of the Lord. Okay? Us being on the highways and the byways. Us being on the internet. You know, YouTube doing videos. We are the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day. Okay. We represent the, the voice of the Lord. We are the mouthpieces of the Lord. So that voice there wasn't angels. As uh, this is trying to suggest. Angels were created. Then. No, it wasn't. No, it's not talking about it. It's talking about prophets. All right. Let's get that in the book of Luke. Where's Luke chapter 1, verse 70? And again, this is what Jake do. They don't study, they don't get into anything, and they rather trust trust in, in, in the so-called white man. If he says it, you know, and, and, you know, yeah, that's it makes sense. Okay then. You know, you don't understand how deep and demonic um Jewish breakdowns go. The whole Friday to Saturday thing is not an Israelite thing. It's an Amalek slash Judaism thing. Okay? That has nothing to do with the Bible. Friday to Saturday sundown has absolutely nothing to do with the Bible, man. That is Judaism. So if you stick solely to that, then at least, at least get into it. And when you get into it, you'll clearly see their whole setup is demonic as to why they break down verses the way they do. We just read one verse and they broke it down wrong. 
Luke 1 and 70, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So even when the world began, the company of prophets were upon the earth. Okay, so that's what it's talking about, man. Right? So Rashi's commentary is wrong. You know, Rashi is, is, is wrong, man. Ibn Ezra... You know, there's a lot of commentaries here. I want to get into all of them. You know. You know. And this is what they do in Judaism. They'll read one verse, right? And then they'll get into so many other texts of these people. Which is demonic, by the way. And then... um. And then they'll focus on that rather than the verse because they don't have the understanding. It wasn't given to them, you know. It wasn't given to them, man. You know, so again, their whole setup of trying to use Genesis 1 as a calendar is incorrect. Genesis 1 is not a calendar formulation, okay. Neither is Jewish understanding correct, all right. Now you can deny it all you want, but following a Friday to Saturday sundown Sabbath is Judaism, man. And Judaism is satanic. They don't follow the scriptures, they follow all these other resources, all these other texts. Okay? So um that's pretty much it. I could get into way more, man, but this is just a quick example to show that um you know these these understandings, these mysticisms, they're all off, man. You know, they're all off. Okay. And you know what it is? Um, without, you know, um, owning up to it in a roundabout way, what it is, is, is just trusting in, in, in the devil, man. Trusting in the devil. It makes sense. It's easy, so it seems. Not understanding the mysticisms and how deep it goes, but it's really... Not fully wanting to come into an Israelite mindset. When it comes to cursing out, um, you know, the white man or the black woman or even talking about we're going to get beamed up, you know, nice and hopeful things, easy, easy things to be understood and perceived by the mind. People are up for that. But when you got to start taking out pen and pencil and paper and count one through to eight, and various months and times and seasons. When you get into that side of the scriptures, not a lot of people want to exercise their brain. So they rather go with the easiest option. Oh, it's easy. I can just wait till Friday. Wait till Saturday. Nah, man. We're, we're, we're to get into this fully. And when you get into it, it's not even that hard anyway. But Jake is just lazy-minded, man. And here's that amount, man. Shalom.